Hi, I am Edward and I will be your trainer for this course. Getting started with Kubernetes is no easy task. So reach out to me using the Q&A if you're stuck somewhere in this course. Setting up your Kubernetes cluster for the first time can be hard, but once you're past the initial lectures, it will get easier and you will deepen your knowledge by learning all of the details of Kubernetes. When you finish with this course, you can continue with my two other advanced Kubernetes courses. You will get a coupon code in the last lecture, the bonus lecture. This is the course overview of this course. You see, there's a lot to cover. I'll first start with the introduction. What is containers? What is Kubernetes? I will guide you through the setup on your desktop or on the cloud. And then once you have a cluster set up, then we'll start building containers. We'll run the first app on Kubernetes. Then I will explain you the Kubernetes basics. What do you need to know? The node architecture, how to scale, how to use deployment services, health checks, the lifecycle of the pod, and how to use secrets in your application. I will also show you how to use a web UI. Then we'll start with more advanced topics. I will talk about service discovery, how to use config files, an ingress, which is also a load balancer, external DNS, I will talk about volumes, pod presets, stateful sets, daemon sets, monitoring, auto scaling, node affinity, and an affinity. I will also cover operators, which can give you extra functionality in Kubernetes. And then I will cover administration. I will talk about the master services, how to set quotas and limits, namespaces, user management, and how to limit your users using RBAC. I'll talk about networking, node maintenance, high availability, and TLS on your load balancer. Then a very interesting topic, packaging. So how do you run your applications on Kubernetes? First, I will introduce you to Helm, and then how to create Helm charts to package your applications. And then we're going to set up a Helm repository to store our Helm charts. And then we will be building and deploying applications using Helm and Jenkins. I have a few extras that you can take. Cube ADM, if you want to set up an on-prem cluster, and DLS certificates with a cert manager, which is part of one of my other courses. This allows you to use Let's Encrypt to add certificates to your applications. Course objectives. After this course, you should be able to understand, deploy, and use Kubernetes. You should be able to get started with containerization and run those containers on Kubernetes. To deploy Kubernetes on your desktop, on-prem, and on AWS. To be able to run stateless and stateful applications on Kubernetes and to be able to administer Kubernetes. You should also be able to package and deploy applications using Helm. And this last one is quite an important one.